Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is an image I made from scratch, downloaded emulation station. I just created this image on 2-20-2017, um, and it is running on a Pi Zero. If you don't believe me, I don't know why you wouldn't, but I did make another video of how I made this image and how I dragged the, the ROMs and how I installed emulation station, all without Wi-Fi, by the way. And here I am with an Xbox 360 controller using a computer monitor running at uh, fairly full res, it almost fills my screen, and uh, I have everything all set up. I've installed at least one game of all the systems. I didn't do Arcade or Final Burn Alpha or um, um, Dreamcast or Nintendo 64 just because I know those aren't going to run well. They don't even run well on the Pi 3, so why the hell would they you know, run on the Pi Zero? So this is all stock clock, not overclocked. Uh, starting it off, we're doing uh, Sega 32X. This is Mortal Kombat. And what we're going to do in this video is just, you know, try some games and see if we get some lag or not. You know, try to do, fill the screen up with some graphics, see if we have any tearing, see what goes on. That music, though. So I already feel like it's a little laggy. Uh oh, he got me. There we go. Dude! And so it's very laggy. These. This Sub Zero is cheap as hell. Oh! So, not really playable. I think we're already in the beginning of this video finding out where the limitations are on the Pi Zero. Sega CD. So I'm starting out with the hard, with the hard hitters. Started getting you into the, the meat of this Pi Zero image and how the Pi Zero has its limitations. But I mean, this I believe the card came out as a $5. Okay, so this Sega CD doesn't even load. This might be the game. I'm not sure, but even if it did run, uh, you know, I just think it wouldn't run very well. Okay, so no go on that. SG-1000, I don't, this is Sega SG-1000, I don't think there will be an issue here. Should run fine. These graphics are not pushing <laughs> the limit of anything. So there you go. You can have all the SG-1000 classics working no problem working well and even booting in and out of games is not that bad I mean as you're seeing here you know it's not uh, it's not lagging that bad you know I'm going in and out of the games at a fairly fairly good rate here we go we're doing some 1993 graphics Pi Zero mmm nice sound we got good audio coming in Classic game. I thought I jumped on that. Maybe. I'm, I'm gonna literally die. <laughs> you know, people die when you jump on them. It's just a fact, you know? I feel like I need to get up there. How do you do, do jumping? All right, <laughs> we're back in it, peeps. Jesus! Come on! I gotta get this locust. So there you go, that's how you die in Aladdin, how you're not very good. Apu looks really disappointed. I mean, Jesus, way to let a guy down. Um, Atari should not be any issue whatsoever. You can play the Atari 2600. You can probably get the, what is it, 5100 or 5200 on here as well. So there you go, pinball. Wow, 
Why won't it release the ball? Okay, peeps, is this... Okay, that's, that's getting a little too much for me. So it works, no lag, just, it's Atari for you. You gotta know, <laughs> you gotta know uh, how to play the games first. Centipede, classic game. Pi Zero, I don't know why this game would not run. I mean, these graphics were pretty legendary for their day. Uh-oh, spider's coming. Whoa, dude. 300 points. Boom. It's actually running really well. Like, no lag whatsoever. So, as you see, I'm really good at this game. I wonder if the diehards like try to play for like every shot you shoot hits the thing. Let's go for that for the rest of this video. Get wrecked, kid. So Atari, no problems. Running pretty good. I'm not gonna edit this video much because I want you to see that you know this is the same image on the Pi Zero. You can see the load times, like how long it's taking me to go in and out of games. I mean, to be honest, I'm, I'm just impressed that this little card is capable of so much. Oh, pick up the knife, dude. Get a, you ready for this? Dude, this is awesome. Could you imagine? This is like UFC meets the NBA. Like, there's no way. <laughs> Maybe someday we need this type of form of entertainment to keep everyone entertained. Okay. Ball change. Okay. So that's uh, Atari Lynx. Works no problem. So we've done uh, most of the systems. I think we got Game Gear to do. Game Gear actually transferred all the games. So let's uh, do a search here so you can see. So like, let's say I want to go jump down to N. So as you see, the search look works well. Let's do the Lion King for this one. Virgin Games. We're on a little Disney thing here. We did Aladdin. Now we have Lion King. Classic games. Fun for the whole family. The Pride Lands. Oh, that's pretty fast. Look how fast he runs. Jesus. Wow, do you hear those screams? He doesn't kill animals. He just lets them disappear. And animals don't attack him, they just lick him. Because that's how the world works. Look at those hops. Look at that screen movement. What? What? That music, though. The circle of life. It's everything you want in a game right here. Okay, there you go. Game Gear, it's got sound. The performance is just fine, just like the real thing. Game Boy, I'm gonna go ahead and skip Game Boy and just go straight to Game Boy Color, right? Because we might as well see some color. We're gonna see. I mean, if Game Boy Color runs, you know Game Boy runs. All right, we got color. Look at that, 1999 graphics. We're moving up in the world. Newer, newer, newer. Somebody thought it was funny. <laughs> so as you can see, no lag whatsoever. Running very smooth. Not bad. So no issues, Game Boy Color. Very good.
Next up, Game Boy Advance. This no, I didn't like that either. Let's check the resolution. Let's try the other um, emulator as well. Ah, oh, there we go. Boom! You just had to change the emulator. Wow, such great graphics. EA. Challenge everything. Mmm, liking the soundtrack. Nice. Ooh, it's not really liking the lag. Sahara, Sahara Desert. Okay, yeah, 007, got it. Bond, you've set the charges. Now get out of there. Run straight towards the edge to the neighbor to cue Ravel. Quickly, now, on my way. What? Do you have... Where's my health? Well, oh, did I just get it? Oh, there's my help. Come for you guys. So it you can just tell it's it's for sure laggy. Um especially with those explosions as you can see. So I think this is really testing the, the boundaries of the Pi Zero right here. Um, I bet you if you overclock to get a little better performance on this one. But for the moment, you know, it's really struggling along on that. Since we're getting some good uh, data from the... Let's try the Sonic now. Since, uh, see if that may change things a little bit. So it seems that this video... We're finding that Sega 32X and beyond, when you get into the 32s from the 16s, it uh, starts to lag right in that area there. But I mean, this is looking good right here. That Bond game looked like it was kind of pushing the graphics for that system, so maybe something a little more basic like this. Will run good. Thanks, Sonic Team. Alright, so we already have sound lag. Okay, so don't press B, press A for all this. Yeah, it's definitely laggy. Like, I'm having pretty major lag here. It's playable, like, if you really want to play this game, but there's a significant amount of lag. Got it. Peace out, Sonic. I got through Act 1. All right. So, and then it takes this. This system also takes a lot longer to leave. You notice how long, much longer this is right there. So it's definitely straining the board. Uh, Sega, we already did Sega Genesis, Sega Mega Drive. Let's try that. Sega Genesis runs just fine, just like Super Nintendo. No problems there.
So I usually can't get past the first level here. Jesus. What did I tell you guys? Okay, so this seems to run just fine. No issues there. A little longer to exit out. As far as the heat, my board is getting real hot. Real, real hot. Let's try Neo Geo. Pies run hot. That's just what they do. It's not looking good so far. Come on, Bubba. Chug along, chug along, chug along, chug. Okay, was not liking that. Just exited out. Let's see how long that takes. Let's try this one. Let's see what we got here. Is it just the peef butt? Let's try the other one actually. It's usually better. Libretro. It might have just been Might have just been that emulator. Nope, I didn't like that. See if this one likes Spinal Burn Alpha a little better. Nope. So Neo Geo might not. Doesn't look like it's playing. Maybe some games will play, but Neo Geo Pocket runs no problem. I didn't think that was going to be an issue. It's similar to like Game Boy graphics. Just exited out of that. Let's do, uh, oh, we got a couple more games left. We got Neo Geo Pocket Color, and then we have uh, PT Engine Turbo Graphics. Okay. Wow, so you're getting a little lag on uh, Neo Geo Pocket Color. Interesting. We need to do like a legendary shot right here now. I'm about to win this whole level. Watch this. Boom! That's a lot of lag, guys. Okay. Well, it runs. And that game actually ran okay with the... I mean, because you can wait between turns and whatever, but that music was not good. Not the best. Okay, here we go. 1943. All right. Looks like it's running just fine. There's some really cool games for this system, so that's good that this is running. Yeah, no lag at all. No lag, good sound. Good emulation overall, very impressed. Really good stuff. Okay. Um, another system we haven't played yet is Nintendo. That runs you know, perfectly. You can play Contra, Zelda, all the classics, and we're back at SG-1000. Uh, where what? I think Nintendo's on this image. I think we just must have skipped it, but uh, it runs fine as well. I hope you like this video. If you could, please give it a like, subscribe. If you do have any questions, you can comment below. But as you can see, a nice little system. And we'll see you guys on the next one.